ABC 27 Friday Night Overtime. Sponsored by Tallahassee Board of Realtors. Hello, everybody, and welcome to Friday Night Overtime. It's the final week of the regular season. Can you believe it? Across the Big Bend and South Georgia alike. So sadly, it's the last time we will talk about some of these teams. I'm sports director Allison Posey. He is Dom Tibbetts. What, what is that? That's the Bernie. Uh, Throwing it back I'm, to like 2014. I'm way out of touch. <laughs> We're saying goodbye to some teams. We're hopefully going to be talking about some others for a very long time. Absolutely. Madison County, a perennial power in Class 1A. They've punched their ticket to the postseason. And in 6A, Rickards on the bubble. They could be in. They could miss out. A win tonight over the Cowboys, and they are most definitely in. A big-time game against two big-time programs. It's our Friday night overtime game of the week. Second quarter in this one. We're jumping right in. Raiders up 6-0 over the Cowboys. Madison driving. Jamie Hampton on the keeper. And he's dangerous, folks. Boys moving inside the 10. Then less than a minute until the half. Madison County turning to the air. But Lionel Whitaker having other ideas all over this I pass. And the Raiders keep the Cowboys off the scoreboard at half. It's 6-0. Jumping to the fourth quarter now. Cowboys up 14 to 13, looking to add a little more cushion to that score. Hampton keeping it, and I told you guys he was dangerous. Very Picking dangerous. up about 25 yards here. Moving it well against this Raider defense. All right, Madison County trying to punch it in. Going for it on fourth down. Myron Ward saying not today. Not today. So the Cowboys up by one. Raiders getting one last shot here. And how's this for clutch? Michael Townsend, Rico Watkins, 50 yards. What a play. But that's the highlight of that final drive. Going for it on fourth down. Cowboys almost coming up with the I Ooh, and so T. Close. And they would kneel it out from there. Cowboys win 14 to 13. Rickards now has to wait until Sunday to see if they make the playoffs. Sweating bullets. Now sticking with 1A teams, both Sneeds and Liberty County are in in Region 2 playing tonight. And if things stay the same, they'll face each other that first week of the postseason too. Liberty, they strike first. Ryland Roddenberry in for six. Extra point is good. It's 7 nothing. Here come the Ooh, Pirates jump. though. Tyrell McMillan powers his way through this Liberty Ooh, County defense. Big boy. Setting up the touchdown. And McMillan, he's just going to finish the job. Why not? And we are tied. They lead 9-7 to seven at the break. And Sneeds holds on for the win. 17 to 7 over Liberty for the Sunshine State Athletic Conference's Crossroads Cup. In Mayo, Lafayette hosting Freeport. The Hornets in for Region 3. Their opponent on the bubble in Region 1. Second quarter, Freeport needs some offense. Conditions tonight not in their favor. It's a fumble recovered by the Hornets, and they would go to work from there. Inside the 10-yard line, Mario Thomas calls his own number, and he's in for six. Two-point conversion successful, so it's 22 to 6 Lafayette. Hornets with another shot here late in the first half, but Thomas's pass just going to slip out of his hands. Look at the conditions the outside. Rain. Picked Blame off by rain. KK Henderson, but Lafayette 44 13 winners over Freeport. With that win, they'll now host their first round matchup in the playoffs. Hamilton County currently on the outside looking in in Region 2 at Trenton, who is barely in in Region 3. And after a turnover on down, senior quarterback Tyler Perry, love the name, the takes start. the opening <laughs> play for the Tigers to the house. 60 yard scamper, but the Next drive, Hamilton's wide out change Cherry goes wildcat on the Tigers and after the two point Rawr. conversion, the Trojans are on top by a point. But this was a ground and pound game in the cold and the rain. Look at me rhyming. Only three passes in the first half. MC Posey. Pull back Tavin Brown punches it in from the goal line. Tigers back on top and pulling away. Final score of the half. Keon Williams takes the sweep and seeing nothing but green grass in front of him, folks. Tigers up 28-16 at the half. Trenton wins big. 48-28. 22 over Hamilton County. The Brooklyn Warriors three-peated as region champs from 1974 to 1976. They haven't won multiple titles in a row since, and that could change tonight with a win over Southland Academy. The Warriors back-to-back -back region champs hopes alive, and they are on the hottest streak of their season. Looking to close out with another W. Third down in the first, Raiders Chase Ledger tries to hand it off to David Dickens, but the Warriors stuff him. Next series on second down. Dixon's going to take the hands off, but he loses the fumble. Oh, it's on oh. the ground, and Camden Harbin recovered the fumble. Warriors on offense now. 
Raj Waldrop looks to lose left, throws it. Strong Beverly Best open, but it's sports. tipped and the ball Best intercepted name. by Carmelo Valley. He gets the interception, but the Warriors beat the Raiders in a nail biter 16 to 15 for their back to back region titles. Congrats, Brookwood. Valwood hosting Tift area, another GISA Triple A Region 3 game, pretty much all defense in the second half. Valwood trying for a fake while behind 26 14. That fake is no good. Fourth quarter, Valwood trying to get things going. It takes the entire Tift area area defense to bring Push the them pile. still Push going, the pile. but not out without getting the first down. Second touchdown of the game. Here is Dylan Grant Harvard of Tift area to cap off the Panthers win over Valwood. Final score 32 to 14. Valiance, they fall. Hey, cheerleaders, you guys know what to do. You're welcome.